Volunteers across Hampton Roads and the country are honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. today by serving their communities. I caught up with some of them in Hampton this morning. The smell of bleach hit you at the door. Oh, yeah, we didn't really need um, a picture of that. <laughs> Volunteers fill the Phoebus Community Center from everywhere. My name is Jemiah Eddy. Um, I'm here with Phoebus High School's Rural Capitalist, India Richardson. I was a member of the William and Mary Black Law Students Association. I'm Teresa Schmidt. I'm Councilwoman Schmidt from Hampton. They scrubbed, <laughs> rolled, <laughs> and picked up trash. Wait, we found two beds already. Up to 125 kids a day use this center. Keeping the kids off the streets, keeping them positive, giving them the resources through recreation. And it really does make a difference. Hi, I'm Dr. Trina Coleman. This painter is living proof. My background is in nuclear physics, and um, I'm a writer, I'm a speaker, I'm a mentor. She grew up in this neighborhood and spent after school afternoons and summers right here. You can bring doctors out of neighborhoods like this. I am the story of one of several. She knows a fresh coat of paint can give a child a fresh new outlook. It mirrors what we're trying to do, so it's working on the inside and the outside. It's what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was all about. Bringing people together, irregardless of their ethnic backgrounds or their faith or, or things that divide us. We're helping make the world a better place. Now, three groups work together to organize the Day of Service, the Peninsula Baptist Association, the City of Hampton Office of Youth Violence Prevention, and the Department of Recreation. They also went door-to-door, -door, surveying residents about what they need to help make their community better.